Hey guys, Chris here from Awesome Vape Review. Uh, I just wanted to quickly run you guys through how to set up an Ego battery. Uh, it's very easy and it gives a very good vape for a beginner vapor and for on the go vaping. Uh, so right here I've got a standard Ego battery. This is not an Ego Twist or Ego Spinner. It's just a standard Ego battery, a 3.7 volt regulated battery. And I've also got here to demonstrate a Stardust tank. So basically what you're going to do when you get your kit is you are going to have a battery, maybe two batteries, which I recommend uh, getting two batteries, uh, and that means that you can have one on the go and one on the charger. So you'll always have a battery that you can use. You never have uh, you know, an instance when you're stuck without a battery and you can't vape. Uh, so your kit will come with a charger. If it doesn't come with a charger, uh, go out and get one. You're definitely going to need one. Uh, so to set it up, you're going to have to, out of the box, it's probably not going to be charged. Uh, so you're going to have to hook it up like this, screw it in with the little connection in the middle, and plug this into your wall. You'll see a little light right in there if you can see it. There's a little light in there. It'll turn red when it's charging and it will turn green when it's done. When it's done you just unscrew it. Get your tank that you've chosen. Make sure that this is uh, a 510 or ego threaded tank. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna put this end in there, screw it on. Don't screw it too tight. You can damage the little connection in there. Just finger tight enough to make a connection. And you've got a power button here. This is also your fire button. So you're going to give it five clicks. Oh, mine's already on. So five clicks will turn it on. I'll just demonstrate. So this is off. One, two, three, four, five. Turns the battery on. When you want to take a drag off of it, take your battery, put the drip tip in your mouth, push the button. And you've got vapor. So that's basically how you set up your ego, uh, your ego uh, battery. When the battery dies, you'll get a few flashes off of this, off of this light right here on the switch. That means your battery is dead, and that means it's time to charge it. So uh, just when it gets the five flashes, or however many flashes your uh, particular ego will do when it's uh, when it's dead. Uh, that just means it needs to be charged, uh, charged, and it'll typically take, depending on the uh, milliamp rating of your battery, it'll technically take, uh, typically take between two, three hours, uh, three hours at the high side. So that's if you maybe have a, a 1,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so that's basically uh, just a little, just a little tip, just in case, uh, just in case you see the light flashing or you're not getting any vapor and you're not sure why. So I've got right here uh, an example of an Ego threaded tank. The Stardust is a recessed tank, but it's actually a 510 connection in there. So if you see down there, there's actually no threads around the, uh, around the edge, but there's a 510 connection down inside. So this is actually an Ego threaded tank. So right here you see it's recessed, but there's no, uh, there's no threading on the actual center pin. The threading is actually down on the inside edge, if you can see it in there, sorry it's a bit blurry, just using my computer camera. Uh, but, uh, but basically that's the ego threading and that's what will thread on the threads on the outer ring right here. So that's an ego threaded tank, and it goes on like that. Um, but you can also use a other devices that are 510 threaded because it does take 510 threading. So that's a 510 connection on the bottom and as you can see it does screw in. So that's the basics of using an Ego battery. So anyway, see you guys next time and happy vaping.